Right lads, I'm filming an extremely requested video. I don't really get a lot of video requests, but this one comes up all the time. So let me hear it, let me hear it. When I say tattoo, you say, bruv. <gasps> Why when it's sunny, the whole street just wanna do DIY? He's hammering away like a bed frame or something from Ikea. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I'm sorry about the noise. Let's start again. When I say tattoo, you say, tour, tattoo, tour. Woo, I feel like, I don't know, the reason I haven't done one, I know I've got loads of tattoos, is I never imagined I'd get loads of tattoos. Didn't actually know what a tattoo tour was, and now I'm obsessed with watching them. It's all I watch, I love it. Like, it's so interesting hearing the meanings, getting inspo, like, artists. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. I got three new ones in one month, and I don't recommend doing that for lots of reasons that I'll go into. Money, of course. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. <laughs> No, one, because it's expensive, if you go to a good eye, so it usually is, especially in London. Two, because it's such an adjustment to see something on your body. So if you're watching this and you've never had a tattoo and you're like getting inspo, obviously they're great and they're amazing, but tattoos are not for everyone in general. And it's a big decision, it's on your body for life and it takes a while to adjust. So I wouldn't recommend anyone just getting tattoos for the sake of it, like it's a big thing. And it, there's been a few that I've been shocked when I first saw them. You, you're modifying your body, so you will never look the same. Obviously you can get removed, but not fully and it's painful and very expensive um so ideally you don't want to get any removed we can do them in order and i'll do a little backstory meanings whatever you know do you know what is so funny i used to hate tattoos i was like they're tacky they're like and i feel bad that i ever thought that because it is a personal choice i just didn't like them i was like i'll never have one like loads of my friends had them and i was like no they like it doesn't it just doesn't appeal to me and even boys with tattoos i'd be like oh like if a boy on love island oh God, i've just forgot i had iced coffee Starbucks cafe latte, obviously. Like, the boys on Love Island, when they'd come out with tattoos, I'd be like, oh, like, he'd be fit about the tattoos. I never went, never kissed a boy with tattoos until, God, I was, like, in my, not late 20s, but mid-20s. And then it's, like, my type just suddenly, like, changed. And now the only boys I want to go with are boys with tattoos. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's sexy about it. I think because I have them now. I don't know. I always just feel like people with tattoos are going to be attracted to people with tattoos because... Maybe I'll look weird with a guy that doesn't have tattoos. Or like when we're older and if we have kids. Maybe, I don't know. Is that me just being really backwards? I feel like when we're all older and have kids, so many of us, like our generation will have tattoos. So whatever. Start with tattoo numero uno, where it all began. And yeah, it's this beautiful, lovely, well done little heart. Yeah, it is probably my worst tattoo. As in... Can you see how bad the lines are? But it's a cute story, and I mean, there's worse things you could have on your body. I feel like that's a very popular place to get a first tattoo because you literally only see it if I'm wearing a bikini or a bra, and that's not often. So we were in Benidorm, me, Courtney, and Meg, my besties. I think I was around 23, and we had had like a, far a few too many um, sangrias that day. We were walking past this tattoo thing, and we're just like tipsy, loving life. And they were like, go on, go get a tattoo, Sadie. And they knew I, d I didn't like tattoos, and I was like, all right. And they were like, huh? I was like, okay, you're daring me to get a tattoo? I'll fucking do it. You Don't dare me to, because I will right now. So I walk into this like, probably very dodgy tattoo shop. Didn't know what to expect. And we were like, oh, we just both want to get heart. Like Courtney also got the same. Hers is even worse than mine, sadly. It's even bigger and just not well done at all. I feel like everyone in their life needs to get a holiday tat once. It was 40 euros. We didn't even have 40 euros each. We only had... 38 each and we were like look man we'll come back we'll bring you a beer later and we fucking didn't and that is one of my life's biggest regrets that poor guy we just scammed him out of four euros he gets it up on paint and he had the like little heart shape on paint you can put the shapes he just puts it in and goes like that yeah like that i was like yeah yeah like that like you've just drawn it on paint whatever when i tell you this was the most I just did not think tattoos were gonna hurt that much. Like, I was in shock. I think there is a particularly like painful place or he wasn't that good of an artist. I don't know, but yeah, that one killed and I actually cried from the shock and it was really embarrassing and I was like, oh, it's so painful and literally I feel like none of them have been as painful as that or just because it's my first one, it was a shock. I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting one on my ribs anytime soon, but yeah, it was fucking funny. So that's number one. What was the second tattoo? I think I left it for like two years. Went through a really bad breakup and I feel like it kind of just changed me mentally like as a person I was a different uh, Shush! I was a diff- I was a <laughs> I was a different Sadie after that like I, I haven't gone into it loads but I was in a very abusive relationship I was living with him and it was just a lot I felt like not the same person after it and I, I, I wanted 
to feel new like I I wasn't gonna change my hair but I was like I need something new I need to feel like you don't know this new version of me because I just wanted to separate myself from that situation that sounds very dramatic but I was like I want to get a tattoo and this is when after the breakup I started getting into spirituality and feminine energy I didn't get into this thing called like goddess energy harnessing the feminine power like inside you and I definitely wasn't living in my feminine energy and it just I started researching it loads it made me feel really powerful for the first time in a very long time like I was like wow yeah like being a woman is amazing and I feel like I'd had so much stripped from me in that relationship that I needed something to you know signify this newfound power so I really want to get a tiny little one I really wanted this little thin line wording so I got this here I'll flip it so you can see so it literally just says goddess really tiny writing and can you imagine I had no other tattoos so at the time this was so like thin and just pretty and yeah it didn't really again it's a good one for a first tattoo to get a word or get something very small and that's a nice place because it's kind of on your inner arm it's not disrupting like you're not going to feel like I'm so tatted um so I'd say here and inner arm is the best place for an arm beginner's tattoo um really didn't hurt it was a stick and poke artist because I want it to be really fine it doesn't mean that I think I'm a goddess like obviously I am a fucking goddess but it doesn't really mean that in that sense it's about energy and I'm not going to put the artist because I don't want to badmouth, I don't want to badmouth anyone. I'm going to badmouth someone, but I'm not going to put their name. Just because I personally felt like I had a bad experience with her to the point that it made me not want to get tattoos again. I'm very sensitive, so I'm a Pisces. We all know this, right? So maybe I'm dramatic as fuck. But when it's your first tattoo, you feel so nervous, so sensitive. It's on your body forever. Like, it's really, like, that feeling was, I was petrified. And maybe she tattoos loads of people who, like, are really into tattoos and don't freak out. But she just didn't, I don't feel like she was very caring. Like, she didn't. She didn't make me feel good, like she wasn't that friendly, she just, I don't know, I, I didn't know what tattoo parlours were like, but I wasn't expecting that. I explained what I wanted, and then she put it on my arm, and I didn't really like the placement, so I was like, oh, um, like she put the stencil on my arm. And I was like, oh, can we have it a little bit over, and I said, also, you can't really read the writing, like maybe can we have the writing a little bit bigger, and she was like, you said you wanted it small, like kind of, quite aggressively to me. And I was like, mm. I don't know, like I just was shocked that she would say that, because... I was like, yeah, but now it's on my body. Having something on your body is different to sometimes what you imagine. And I think tattoo artists should know that. But whatever, maybe she's having a bad day. And I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, now it's on me. Like, I just feel differently. And she was like, <sighs> like, rolled her eyes like that. went, <sighs> so weird. I've just had so many fussy clients today. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, all of my clients have been fussy. And then walks, like, kind of, like, stormed off. Reprinted it. And I... I don't know, I'm like, maybe it is annoying and I'm sorry, but I'm giving you my money to put something on my body for life. Like, you could at least be a little bit more understanding. Like, I don't know. And then she just barely spoke to me the rest of the appointment and I didn't get a tattoo for a while after that. I was like, oh, all tattoo artists are not nice. It really left a sour taste in my mouth. Grand scheme of things, it's not that deep and she is a really good artist. I see a lot of people go to her, but this is the same thing with hair, with, with any sort of customer face services. The way you make someone feel sometimes sticks with them more than the service. Like, someone could do my hair amazing, but if they've made me feel kind of shitty, I'm not going to go back. And it's the same with tattoo artists. Like, I do think you have to be a certain level of friendly. But yeah, that was that's number two. Sorry, I do waffle on. I, when, I, when it's stuff I'm interested in, I really waffle on. So I hope you stay with me. Okay, next. Then I thought that was it. Never going to get one again. Then... I let this fucking abusive boy mess me around again, as in I went back to him, this was around lockdown, I went back to him after moving out from him, and yeah, it was the fucking worst the second time round, don't go back to someone abusive, they never change, and this time it was like, horrific, like this is what made me get domestic abuse counselling and all this stuff, like it changed me as a person, I mean, in the long run I probably learnt so much from it, but at the time, like I wouldn't wish the feeling of how I felt going through that, I wouldn't wish it on my worst en enemy, and I know this sounds really like embarrassing, but like, the minute I was out of it, I was like, I want to get another tattoo, like I, I, I feel again this strong, I had used to have this joke, every time a boy hurts me I get a new tattoo, because it makes me feel like kind of powerful and like, bringing my independence back and bringing this like, I'm doing something for me, that has nothing to do with you. Again, so that's why I went to get this lovely little fine line butterfly. Again, quite a basic, I'll, I'm hiding this one for a reason, a basic bee tattoo. But again, can you imagine without the other one? Because I didn't get this one. I got this one a lot later. So I had just this and this and I loved it. It was actually lighter. It didn't have the black outline. It was a lot lighter because I wanted it really dainty and sweet. And for me, the butterfly, I know loads of girls have it and it is sort of like a Y2K trend. And I think they're a great tattoo to get. There's so many differentiations. I've seen girls get one side, the wings one side with 
with flowers or one side red or you can get big small each butterfly each artist can make a butterfly completely unique to you and I loved it so I went to Charlotte Mallory she works at Rose of Mercy and it was so nice to go to someone like friendly after that and she's just really cool I was also scared about go getting tattoos of men because to me I see men as like having traditional big tattoos and a bit scary and like a man is touching your body you know you're putting your your trust in him so she did this and I, I loved it and it didn't hurt at all she used a single needle it is quite expensive rose of mercy is expensive a lot of cool places in london are but a lot of amazing artists in london so it's something it's on you for life so if you want to invest so oh, i have done prices this one cost 80 pounds which yeah fair enough small tattoo 80 pound this cost 150 and i know people who probably aren't from london will be like wow these prices are a lot but for london it is it is quite relative and the people you go for if they've got a good name for themselves they're gonna be able to charge more but i would still pay it all again i'm really happy with it so yeah the butterfly for me was kind of like you know how a butterfly like you if you catch a butterfly if you touch their wings they die like i felt trapped in this uh, this is so deep <laughs> i felt really trapped in that relationship so i feel like I was like a butterfly and I was being set free, finally, and I was like, you can't catch me, you can't keep me, and also it signifies, you know, growth and going from, a, like, transformation, going from a caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly, and I did feel like, right, I'm in this next stage of my life, I want this on me. I'm actually like, why am I such a deep, I'm just such a deep, crazy person. Once I started getting more tattoos, I realised I did like them a bit thicker, a bit blacker, so, um, I just thought it needed a friend. And it, yeah, so I got the dark outline and then she added this one, like, sort of flying away. I do really love it. I do kind of wish I got that a bit bigger and a bit more, I don't know, it kind of cuts off. And I feel like I can't have something there now because of it. But, you know, I'm sure I'll, in my life I'll get lows, so it's fine. Sorry, I just rambled on so much and not even, just flick through if you don't want to hear me chat about them, honestly. Or have me on in the out. <laughs> in the background i'm really an irritating person so then i was like i love charlotte so i wanted to get loads with her so what did i get next i got the snake so the snake i do up close again fine line has these really gorgeous little moon and a star little tongue out and i love the little swirly design the scales are so nice this was about 150 or 180 i think i originally wanted this one here and it just, it's so weird. Sometimes you have things in your head and then when it goes on, it just doesn't look right. And so we put it on there, it just didn't look right. And then everyone in the shop was like, maybe on like on your forearm. And I'm so glad it looks so much better there. I'm so glad I got it there. I do wish I got it bigger. And I wish that about a lot of my tattoos. I think as I was starting out, I wanted them little dainty and girly. And my, my style is kind of changing and some of them I'm like, oh, I wish I got you a bit bigger and I wasn't so nervous. But that's fine. Like, I can get more. It's, it's not a big deal. Some artists will suggest you to go bigger than not. But, yeah, try and just really have a think about it and be... Because they do... They are quite persuasive sometimes and they give their opinion, but you don't always have to take it. I usually do just because they know more about placement and stuff. I do love my little snake, my little Slytherin, Southside Serpent, Darren Snake. And then I think on the same day, because sometimes it's easier when I was working full time um, in an office, I can only go on, on weekends. So I usually used to try and get like two done at a time. Then the next one is, ah, I got this. This is why I'm wearing this so you can see. A little fine line rose, which I love, love, love. So dainty, right by the vajay. Um, she put up a screen so I could get this one done. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's like just line work, which means there's no shading in it. But I love the little leaves, and I think it's so flattering. And where I do a lot of underwear shoots and in bikinis, it just, it really just suits it. I love it, and I want to get something on this hip, definitely one time. But yeah, really think that was pretty. I'm not going to lie, I just saw it on Pinterest. I am that bitch, and all tattoo artists laugh at me. They're like, oh my god, you're such a Pinterest girl. Like, you just find stuff on them. Like, yeah, that one didn't have a meaning. Same with the snake. I just started to really like tattoos, and I was like, right, I kind of, I was into it now. I was like, I want to build up my collection. And kind of when I got like three, I was like... What starts happening is it looks odd not having it on the other side. So you do start getting like, I want to match it up. I want to match it up. Then I would probably say this is oh like up there with my favorite, favorite tattoo ever. And I think a lot of you asked me for pictures of this one, asked me about this one. And it's one that a lot of people go and get. And it's, are they vine leaves? Like this. 
oh i love it it's called like a wrap around it's almost like a bracelet kind of thing i think it's gorge gorge gorgeous and it really went with the butterfly and it's just like all about nature this one was 200 i guess because it's just slightly bigger and uh, yeah i have like subtle shading in the leaves Charlotte absolutely smashed it and it will always be like one of my treasured tattoos. In fact, my mom actually said she was like, out of all your tattoos, that's the one I don't mind the most. Like, that's really, really pretty. So I always suggest that if there's a tattoo that you want, I kind of look at loads of people's and then kind of get the artist to do it how I want, but put a sort of spin on it. As I've got more trust in artists, which I'll go into, I, ha I do usually say, this is the kind of thing I want, but I, I go to them for their style because you're always gonna get a nicer tattoo when you go to someone who does those tattoos. So if you want a butterfly, you'll go to someone who does really pretty fine line butterflies. You'll have a trust with them. It's always gonna, already gonna be what you want. If you go to someone who doesn't do that and you're like making them try and do a tattoo they don't wanna do, they're not gonna be passionate about it. It might not end up how you want and you might have to explain it loads of times. Whereas someone who already gets it, I go on Pinterest and I'll write like vine wrap tattoo and there'll be so many and you can kind of make a little mood board and be like hmm how do I want mine how can I adjust it to look like mine um but yeah love 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 that one yeah I think that's all the ones I got from Charlotte I'll put her I'll put all of the artist links down below then I feel like we all know what happened then we all know which the elephant in the room and obviously what I'm gonna have to talk about is my ex was a tattoo artist and I then went to you know get one with him and i just think that's the sexiest job ever mainly because i get free tattoos mainly because and also because i really like creative guys i really i just yeah i'm attracted to people with tattoos so that's what obviously attracted me to him and then also i was like sweet like this is the best time because i can get free tattoos of course a lot of these are done by him it's kind of an awkward thing like i always will have these on my body but i really love them and you know there's no hard feelings we had a good relationship like mostly while it lasted and yeah, I'm still happy that that I don't mind that they were done by him. I'm not, I don't regret it in any way. Do you know what I mean? Even when I'm older, I feel like, oh, that, do you remember when I used to go out with Thingy? Yeah. So, like, it's, it's fine. It's fine. And he's a good artist and I would recommend going to him. I'll never chat shit about him in that way. So, I will link his thing down below. So, that's all I'm going to say. Because I'm not going to be a dick. And it's the first time I got one done with a boy and, it, and meeting his colleagues as well. It made me realise, like, it's not scary to go with male artists because they were all really lovely and all great at what they do. But, yeah. Enough about that, let's just go into it. This is the first one he did for me, which is my dagger. And you can see the difference in the style. Like, the rest were quite girly, and I do think his style was, like, it was a little bit more thicker lines. Um, so it is quite a dark tattoo, but it is gorgeous, and he works very quickly. But this, to me, is, like, it, it kind of represents the, like, pain can be beautiful and i know that sounds ridiculous but you know it's kind of like the dagger and the flowers like i've had a lot of you know hardships traumatic things happen to me and i feel like it's making me bloom into the person that i am today and in the long run yeah it'll make me strong and it's made me a nicer person it's made me understand people more it's made me self-aware it's I think in the long run it will be a good thing for me but at the time it was hard to that's just a reminder that like beauty yeah beauty comes from pain sometimes and good thing come can come from hard times that's what that one um reminds me of what else did he do oh this one was fun my little cherries oh cherries oh i burnt myself the other day making a chicken kiev so the cherries i just thought they were really like sexy and cute and i'd never done a tattoo just for like the hell of it. And this is where especially I started not caring about what they mean. I was just woke up and I was like, we had both had a free day and he had no one booked in because it was a bank holiday or something and he had a day off. And I was like, oh my God, I really want a cherry tattoo. Like I just have wanted one. He was like, fuck it, should we just go do it? And I was like, uh, fucking yes, yes we should. So I think that's just so sweet and cute and um, just like a spontaneous fun one. Again, cherries don't mean anything really. But that's the benefits of having a tattoo artist boyfriend. You can just get random tattoos when you want. It didn't actually give me that many tattoos. That one, that one. Oh, I've got a little eye. Uh, kind of like a spiritual vibes eye. Just to kind of, yeah, signify your third eye opening. 
again a nod to spirituality and no it's not an evil eye because you're not really meant to get evil eye tattoos you're only meant to wear it on jewelry but yeah i just thought that was sweet and cute again quite a spontaneous one it's more like i know the placements of everything i know i want my arms covered but it's just like building it up and then i don't know how i'm going to show you these but i wanted i knew i wanted a sun and moon for like literally since the beginning i got a tattoo i wanted a sun and a moon on like arms or on my shoulders or like i wanted two i was like i don't know where to get it and then i've never thought i'd get any of my legs but i was like oh my god the back of the ankles is the perfect place to have a sun and a moon and i wanted it like male and female like the sun is the man and the moon i definitely feel like i'm drawn to the moon a lot more than the sun like i'm like more of a reflective and women in general i feel like we're like the lunar cycle i don't know i'm just into the moon fucking love the moon okay so i'll try and show you them now Do you see them yes oh they look so good my my crusty like fake tan ankles but yeah so it's like a little celestial moon and she's got eyelashes and little like stars and clouds and the sun are just really gorgeous and yeah it looks really cool when i'm wearing like trainers and heels and i think it's a very flattering place to actually get a tattoo and again quite a subtle place no one sees it only really in the summer and you could get something small but I think it's a really cute place to get a tattoo. I love that placement. So that are the ones that Dom gave me. I love them all. I think they're amazing. And as I said, he's a great artist. I'll leave his link. After him, obviously, I was I didn't get a tattoo for ages because I think I didn't know what I wanted and I was healing from like heartbreak. And also it was kind of it felt like it was our thing and it, it will always it will always remind me of him a little bit because it was so, that's that was his job. But of course. That it's always gonna remind me of him. Um, so even now when I go to a tattoo shop, like the shops remind me of being in his shop and I'm like, oh, like it's it's weird. I just gave up with getting tattoos for a while and then I finally was like, do you know what? No, I wanna do this. I wanna get one. I want a leopard on this arm loads. Um, so I got my little leopard recently. I haven't given her a name, but she's gorgeous. I knew I wanted something, like I wanted to go further up my arms because I had loads down here. So the leopard, she's very fine line. Can you see? My mum the other day was like, why have you got a weasel on your arm? Emma, a fucking weasel. But yeah, it's like going down. Very fine line. This was done by Amora Tattoo. She is from Lisbon, but she was doing a guest spot. And she does the most gorgeous little tattoos. It's got little whiskers. The only thing I will say is obviously that it's a lot lighter than the rest of my tattoos. And like that style is gorgeous. I just am like, does it match with the others? Like, do I, I'm tempted next time she comes to London maybe to ask her to go over it and get it darker. But you can kind of damage the skin that way, I think. But it is gorgeous, I just don't know. I either need to get more light coloured ones all over or I need to get it darker. So I'm not sure yet, but I do really love it. And then, the right, this tattoo. I put a question box and asked everyone, who's your favourite tattoo artist? That's how I found um, Amora and Loz Thomas. He, he did my back. I was never considering getting a back tattoo. It wasn't even in my, like... Con like, it wasn't even a, a, a tiny little inkling like they I love them on guys and I'm like they're so sexy on guys I love a big back piece it's such a statement never saw one on a girl that I wanted I was always just like little arms kind of girl when I saw Loz's work I was actually like gobsmacked I was like that is beautiful like so many people recommended him and I was like they are stunning like it was I didn't basically I didn't want to back tattoo and saw until I saw Loz's work and I was like right I'm gonna do this and I remember posting putting it on my story and I said I didn't know I wanted a back piece but I kind of do now and tagged him and he replied like thanks for reposting me and he was like go on do it like get a back piece and I was like no I'm too scared I'm too scared it's gonna hurt because people say that on the spine it hurts and he was like no 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 like he was like I'll be fine like he, I think he's quite a gentle tattoo artist and he seemed he just seemed friendly and had a nice aura about him and I was like right fuck it I don't know what I just I knew it was gonna be expensive too and I was like Right, I'm getting it done. I'm doing it. I booked in to get a whole tattoo, a, a whole dragon on my back. And it's so weird. I just, sometimes you got to do these things in life. And the same with a back tattoo. Again, you're not that often in England weather. You're not going to see it that much. So I can definitely see people who have no tattoos get a beautiful back piece. But yeah, I'll show you it because my is gorge. I can't, I'm trying to show you the whole thing. Oh my God. So it's just like sort of japanese style dragon still quite it's line work it's not he said that i think he did a little bit of shading but oh, love it love 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 it originally i think 
he, well, I looked at some designs and he had more dainty girly ones just in the middle. But I was like, no, if I'm going to do a back tattoo, I'm going to do a fucking back tattoo. I'm going to go ham. It's quite intimidating as well. Like, you think I'm like all girly and cute from the front and from the back I'm like, bang, bang, fuck you, fuck you. I think it makes me look quite cool and edgy and like, I'll fight you. <laughs> okay, and then finally, sorry, this has been the longest video. I didn't realise how many tattoos I had to talk about. I got my cute little mermaid. Oh, Ariel vibes. I haven't got a name for her either. She's my freshest, newest tattoo. It goes all the way around like this. Um, I got this by Marissa. Uh, she um, is based in Bristol in Clifton. So I was like, oh, we have that connection because I'm from Bristol, obviously. But she was doing guest spot in London and I was like, fuck it. And I saw her do a mermaid and I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted a leopard and a mermaid. I've, I've wanted these things for, for over a year and I, I literally said to Dom, I was like, I want a leopard and a mermaid. So I finally got my mermaid. Um, I will say it's oh, done beautifully. I've never got like a human thing, like a human thing face or a girl's face but look how pretty her face is and how like delicate the flowers and the shirt like it's gorgeous gorgeous and it is the tattoo that I think most people stop me about and just go wow that is amazing like since I got it it, it doesn't stop like people go whoa that's incredible um the only thing with this one so this was 300 back was 500 400 500 you get the gist they're expensive so that's I spent all that money in a month it's, yeah, it's insane. But this one was the one I think that took me the most, well, maybe the back and this, the most shocking, like when I first got them, as in I looked in the mirror and was like, what have I done? Because I have this thing where I kind of hate tattoos for like about three weeks until I like them because it's a shock seeing your body like with a huge black thing, you're like, what the fuck is on me? Like it, it, it really like, you get this weird like tattoo regret thing, but don't worry, like I don't feel like that lasts forever. Some I've loved instantly. Most of them I hate and I can't stop looking at and I'm like, what have I done? But it kind of goes. So yeah, love, love, love my mermaid. Um, so yeah, that's all of my tattoos. Um, I'd love to know what you think. I do get a lot of negative comments about my tattoos, but really I don't give a fuck. And I think my family now have just accepted this is what I want to look like and it makes me happy. And yeah, maybe when I'm 40 and I want to wear an elegant dress and I've got all this shit on me, I might regret it. But also, equally, it, I can't explain the feeling. It makes me feel like confident. It makes me feel like myself. The more tattoos I get, the more I'm like, I feel like me. And it just kind of gives a reflection of like my creative personality. I will say I probably won't ever get any on my neck or my hands. I, I don't like saying never say never, but... And I love how hands look. I would love a dainty little like rose and like a quote or like little thing. Like it's so cute and sexy and gorgeous. I don't know what job I'm going to want to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this job forever. I don't know. I want to be able to still look a level of professional. And if I can wear tops here and to here and it doesn't look like I've got tattoos. That is a personal decision. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed and yeah let me know if you have any questions about any of them I'll put all the artists down below um let me know if you have any tattoos if you're planning to get any thank you so much for watching I'm so sorry if I rambled in this like it's probably really irrelevant but some people might be interested um love you I'll see you very very soon <laughs>